And we're live. Welcome, everybody, to Rug Roast episode. I don't even know. 25, I think. Something like that. But we'll uh, we'll do a little intro. Rug Roast. Rug Roast. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's up, everybody? We've got me, Burn. We've got 2160. Uh, we've got, uh, how do you pronounce your name? Is it Hiram or Hiram? Hiram. Okay, good. Got it. With, with Lala, welcome, man. And we've got Josh with Swoops as well. Here. How you guys doing? Good, man. Good to have you guys. Um, yeah, so I, I took a peek at both your projects and uh, interesting. Should be a good show. Um, so yeah, with that, uh, we'll, we'll get right into it. Um, here, and we're going to do uh, La La first and then we'll do swoops next. Um, uh, but basically we're just going to, uh, we're going to review your project and, uh, and then we're going to rate it, um, on a scale of one to 10, a la, um, one bite, everybody knows the rules type of deal. Um, so yeah, here, oh, first good. off, uh, yeah, welcome, um, but how did you uh, get started into NFTs? Like, what's your background and how did you end up in Web3, I should say? Yeah, um, so I got started back in 2021 when I was working at 776, uh, which is Alexis Ohanian's uh, venture fund. He's a big collector himself. Uh, I was a big collector of other things prior to my job there and and organically we started talking about what was going on back then uh with all the the big uh explosion of, of nfts with nba top shot doodles board apes all these like big big uh collections um and and that was what kind of like piqued my interest um and i i, I really wanted to like dive into the tech i'm a product guy i've been building product my entire careers, uh, first as a developer and then uh, uh, leading product development. So I really wanted to learn what was what we were capable to do with this technology of blockchain and NFTs, uh, and like doing something more than just you know like uh, an interesting interesting artwork, which is which is awesome. But you know, like as a builder, I want to like. Bit, see what what I can build more with that. So so that's kind of like where I got really diving in uh, head first into the space. Nice man. Um, yeah. So interesting. So really, you have a background in in just building out products. Um, interested to learn more. But first, there we go. Hold on, everyone in spaces. Can you hear me? Give me the thumbs up if you can. I had it on mute. <laughs> we can try it producer. again <laughs> i need a producer like or a babysitter i think i need a babysitter to like, sit here babysitter. And, like push the buttons for me all right we're getting thumbs up <laughs> yo all right so anyway um tldr for everyone on twitter that missed it um here a background in uh product development um relationship with alexis ohanian 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 um, kind of got you into, uh, into web three NFTs and, um, really you wanted to see how you could create something unique from a product perspective, leveraging this technology, um, that about sums it up, right? Exactly. Yeah, you got it. Perfect. Awesome, man. Um, so I'll pause for a second. 21, any, any questions, uh, or comments to begin with? No, no, no. I'm good. All right. I, cool, uh, man. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. TGIF guys. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't say that. Um, but yeah, uh, so here I'm how uh I, I guess give us the rundown on, on Lala, man. Like what have you built here? Yeah, Lala is a fan first platform uh to that gives fans of movies and TV shows uh new point of access and ownership over their favorite stories. Um we uh, have a first IP partnership with the movie The Wolf of Wall Street 
to produce officially licensed digital collectibles or NFTs and official merch for the movie's 10th anniversary. Uh, you know, it's a modern classic, uh, very, very popular in the Web3 space and the whole, you know, like, the whole Wall Street bets uh, thing back in, in a few years ago made this movie kind of like part of internet culture and, and Web3 culture. Uh, so we're super excited to not only for the first time uh, produce official uh, merch and, and digital collectibles for the Wolf of Wall Street, but actually give a uh, portion uh, or fractional ownership uh, of the revenue streams to the fans. Uh, so if you're a fan of Wolf of Wall Street for the first time ever, um, you can own a piece of, the, of your favorite story. Interesting. So what does a membership look like? Is that um, through the purchase of an NFT? Yes. So there's multiple le multiple ways that you can jump in. Uh, the What you're seeing here is, yeah, the purchase uh, of an NFT or a collectible grants you access to that uh, fractional ownership over the revenue streams, plus other perks like uh, free merch, uh, access to unreleased footage from the movie. Uh, you know, the movie was hilarious, and there's a bunch of scenes that didn't even make it to the movies that we're going to give uh, holders access to. Uh, next month, we're opening that. Um, and we're doing a 10th anniversary uh, event, uh, so access to all, to all those things. Uh, but you also can just, like, jump into the merch store that, that you just pulled up, and just buy some merch from officially licensed merch from the movie. Uh, and there's some that's exclusive to holders, others that you can anyone can buy in. Um, and one last thing that ties it all together is uh, we rolled out yesterday our loyalty program. So whenever you engage in the community, whenever you buy a piece of merch or buy a collectible, you earn points that you can redeem for other merch, movie tickets, and other uh, movie and TV uh, merch that's not necessarily the Wolf of Wall Street. So it's a way to engage fans and and um, for you know for IP owners, a way to to connect with fans directly and reward their reward them for being fans. Nice man, interesting. Um... Okay, so what is the NFT collection under? Is that under Lala? Yeah, if you go to Digital Collectibles, oh, uh, click Buy Now or Drops, either or. Uh, drops. And then drop the second one. That's that's our our latest drop. Gotcha. So we, okay. We partner with this amazing illustrator. Uh, was actually one. An award for best one of the best illustrators in all of Latin America recently has done campaigns for Ruff Lauren uh, and other fashion brands like Fendi. Uh, and what's interesting with him is he takes still images of people and builds this surrealist uh, world around them, as you can see. And we wanted to do that style to explore uh, Jordan Belfort's origin story which was you know, a pretty good origin story going in uh arriving in, in a public wall uh public bus to wall street uh first day super starry eyed super ambitious and and kind of like got derailed in the process so I wanted to explore all those influences that made him into the wolf of wall street interesting okay um, so you're giving revenue share. So if you hold these, you get you get a percentage of revenue share. That's just for the drop, right? Uh, what do you mean? So, uh, so it's okay. About eight percent of the drop one revenue distribution. So if you own this, then you get that's what you get, right? You get so you get a piece of so, uh, the portion of the revenue streams that we're giving away is uh, from the there's you know a movie makes money a lot of a lot of it from the box office from ticket sales from people that go to the movie they also make money from 
uh, you know, licensing to Netflix or, or any other streamers. Uh, but one uh, piece of revenue stream that movies have is from IP enforcements. So when they, what that means is like efforts to preserve the IP by taking down bootleg merch that is sold on, on different platforms like Redbubble and Amazon and all these different platforms. So we're taking that revenue and we're just giving it back to to the fans of the movie. Gotcha. Okay. Um, nice. I'll pause there. 21. Kick it over to you. Uh, you're on mute. Thanks, guys. Um, the website looks great. It's an interesting concept. My only... Um, question is about the legality of the revenue share. Um, you know, I don't know, especially with the SEC starting to come down on NFT projects, whether you guys have had kind of legal sign off on this or if you guys are based outside the U.S. or, or what your kind of plan or approach is to say that this is, doesn't reach the level of a security. We're, we're based in the U.S. Um, we have legal uh around this and we're you know like very careful and very upfront about communicating that people that buy into this shouldn't expect a return on investment solely from the payouts that they will receive from these revenue streams so it's more about creating a deeper connection with the story um and that's why we also have offer like different points of access or touch points to those stories like the merch the release footage the um the artwork both physical and digital artworks uh that the collectors get uh and you know like access to the community and 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 so forth so it's about that whole package and not about you know like the the payouts yeah, and I can definitely, I, I can definitely see that. Um, you know, I've been involved in, not involved, but like I've purchased uh, NFTs in the past that promised revenue sharing. When it came about to actually deliver, uh, legal, you know, told them that they they couldn't do that. But that's a great thing about the legal system is there are multiple interpretations on how you read regulation, and so if you're saying that you get all this other stuff, including the potential for this revenue, maybe the SEC looks at that differently. I, I'm not a lawyer, so I, I'm not trying to advise here. Um, that would just be kind of my biggest concern, but I think it's really cool. It gives an opportunity as a whole to connect to, you know, movements. This is, this is how movements are born, right? As you said, like this, this movie, which I am, I'm ashamed to say I have never seen. I've seen all the memes. What? Oh man! I've seen Hold on. Clips, <laughs> but I've never actually seen the movie um, end to end. Um, so, like, but I, I completely get how things become this kind of meme and instant war within a space, and how people want to connect to it more. Um, and actually connecting and like collaborating with the actual makers of the movie itself. I think you know, kudos to you to be able to to introduce them to the world of Web3, um, uh, an ecosystem that they have um, had a huge impact on whether they knew that or not. Yeah, absolutely. And and yeah, like right now I'm, I'm in LA uh, signing up, you know, like more IP partnerships to to do this for other movies and, and TV shows. So super excited to to now have, we rolled out this week the loyalty program and the merch store. So we have like all the all the building blocks to, to grow from there. Nice. Um, okay. Um, so I guess I, I would, okay, first of all, I like what you've done. Um, the fact that you've gotten a partnership with the Wolf of Wall Street is, I mean, that's really impressive, man. Um, the art's good. I like it. The merch looks cool. Um, I think that's good. Same thing. I'm really concerned about this. Receive money from your Lala Digital Collectibles. Um, even if you have other um, utility, I hate that word utility, other value that you're providing, um, this this is a big red flag. Um, whenever you, you sell an asset, 
and you're saying you can receive money by holding this asset, um, some people, and I'm not a lawyer either, might say that looks security-ish. And while we don't have those law, there's no laws right now, right? I'm looking towards the future and thinking that that could be a risk. Um, I mean, if if I were in your shoes and I'm not, a, again, I'm not a lawyer, um, I would cut this part out completely. I'd cut, I'd cut out the, the reimbursement for, um, I'd cut out the revenue stream thing, right? Instead, mm-hmm. I would focus on the merge and finding other ways to provide value because I think that this, while we don't know for sure, this could kill the whole project and it, it could cause problems for you and the team. Um, but again, I'm not, I'm not a lawyer and I'm not an expert. Yeah, I hear you. And, and this is something from day one that, you know, like I, I've been, I research every project that offers something similar in the space with a legal team that has worked on some of those projects that are still very much uh, live and, and, you know, operating. So it's a, as you said, it's a, it's a, it's a day to day with a, a no real loss around it. Uh, we're definitely, you know, I talk to my legal team uh very frequently about this so you know like that that's i i i hear you and and for us it's it's all about how we communicate that this is about creating a a deeper connection and not expecting the you know like to to pay off any loans or or your your pay off your mortgage or anything close to that uh and yeah it's about really saying that hey like i i I'm a, I own a, a small piece of, of this uh, classic movie. Definitely. Um, yeah, that makes sense. And again, I mean, just like this right here. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, I hear you. I hear you. Like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, again, I'm not a lawyer. I, I, I'm just some dude that um, buys and sells JPEGs and and flips uh, 21's friend tech keys um, for a 0.00001% uh, profit. Um, so, you would. You would. question for you guys. If, it, if that part wasn't wasn't uh, available to to collectors or to you as, would you buy into this? Yeah, I think, you know, from my perspective, being in this space for three years and seeing how stuff develops, I, you know, with that included, it doesn't actually add anything for me, right? Like if I, if I'm such a fan of the movie, like, and I want to be a part of these other things that you're offering, if people actually do the math on, on splits like this, the amount you're going to make is like super minimal because you got to share it with everybody. Right. And so for me, it wouldn't be like a profit like it's not an investment where I, I expect a return on my investment based off of what this movie is going to bring in because of the percentages would be so low. Um, so yeah, it's something I definitely would invest in with it included. I just see it as a more riskier investment. It doesn't necessarily say that I would be precluded from investing because ultimately when I've seen, you know, SEC enforcement, it's for the project creator. It's not for the people who actually yeah. invest. So from my perspective, it's it's the only risk would be that you eventually as a project, you know, would have some legal action that you guys would have to deal with. But I think that what you're offering, you don't need to include this um, because it could be it could be problematic because those laws haven't been like hammered out. Right. Yeah. And, 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 think, uh, and oh, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, I was going to say, I think it's really cool. It's cool enough that like you actually partnered with. The, the makers of Wolf of Wall Street. And if you continue to do this in the industry, especially if you can do it before like, you know, big movie launches, like I think that's enough to get people excited and say, oh, let me be a part of the web three kind of initiative that this movie or this director or this story is telling. Um, mm-hmm. And it, it doesn't have to be this, oh, well, let me see if I can make money off of, off of this, right? Yeah, exactly. And and that's, you know, like, that's one thing that, that, that we're also like very upfront about well, not, this is not like an investment. We want people to not flip it, but hold it and really like participate and engage in our community and, you know, like take advantage of the merch. We give them like discounts to holders if they 
so if they if they buy into this so it, it's it's less about like talking about this as an investment and and more like we want people to hold and, and create a fan like a vibrant fan community of of movies and tv makes sense yeah so for me to answer that question um if it was in if we were in the bull market um i would probably i'd probably look at getting in if i get in early and i'd probably flip it um, and that's that's no knock on your project but um it's uh, it's me looking at this saying wolf of wall street like we all love the movie except 21 who hasn't even taken the time to watch it um, but that's okay. We'll watch it in Miami. Um, we'll, we'll do a, a rug radio movie night. Um, nice. Not really. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I think that there's a market for this as from an investment perspective. Personally, I would not. Um, but if I was like a huge fan of Wolf of Wall Street, I'm a fan, but I'm not like, oh, I want to have all the merch. Um, but if I was like that, I would I would do it just so I could like, you know, pick up some of the merch at a discount and stuff like that. Um, so I, I think, I think there's a market for it. Uh, personally, from an investor perspective, I wouldn't, I'm, I'm usually looking to either flip or I'm consolidating in like two or three different things or like the new, like friend tech right now, you know, it's the big thing. Um, so I, I try to get ride hype trains if I'm able to, um, and cash out that way. So, um, but I think there's a market for it. I definitely think that there's, a good sized group of people who would want to collect in this collection. Awesome. All right. So all the feedback. Yeah. Thanks man. Um, 21. You want to give the rating first? I always like to make him do it first. Yeah. He always just likes to give me the, the hard job of rating first and then he just copies whatever I Correct. say plus one or minus one, depending on his feelings. Yeah, it's, um, like, it's like when I go out to dinner with someone, I have them order first and I just copy them. Then I don't have to like think for myself. Um, no, see, I'm the asshole that orders the like Wagyu fucking A4 like steak, you know. I'm not copying you then, <laughs> unless you're paying or if like Obi's Look, paying. I lived in Japan. Anytime there's fucking Japanese Wagyu on the menu, you should order it just as an FYI. Um, anyways, from a project rating, um, I'm going to set the the question of the revenue share aside um, and just say that I think it, it, it could be a really cool thing. Um, it's another way of adapting Web3 technology into like a membership, um, which I think, you know, a lot of people find valuable, especially when there are kind of like diehard communities um, that, that amass. And what better things to kind of have a, this around other than like super like popular movies, right? Um, and so the fact that like this project has a partnership with them, I think is incredible. Um, you know, I, I think it won't be like, <clears throat> hopefully the popularity of the movie will drive adoption. And I think you guys picked a good one the first time around. So I'll give it a 6.9 to, to remain, um, you know, meme-ish. Uh, I think you guys have a good opportunity. I think in the bull market, this would have been like a no-brainer because everybody was, you know, uh, buying everything. Um, and But I think it might be good for you because I think what it'll do it, is it will attract the people that want to buy it just to hold. Um, and that's really what you're looking for. So yeah, exactly. I'll give you opportunity to build a small tight knit community um, that you can build up over time. Right. Um, yeah. You know, if, if the model was like, you know, flip, then we would have a, a different discussion, but because your, your model is actually building an invested community, I think it might work out uh, in your favor. Nice. All right. So um, I, I, I like the fact that you were able to get a partnership with Wolf of Wall Street. I mean, that says a lot. Um, it means that you're able to chase down these uh, these partners that are big. You know, that's that's a pretty big deal. Um, the art's cool. The merch is cool. I like that. Um, big red flag on the revenue sharing for me personally. Again, I'm not a lawyer. NFA, DYOR. Um, but... Um, yeah, I think you know if you build up a nice community like uh, Twenty One said, you could you could leverage that community when things pick back up again if they ever do, unless we're all just dead. Um, but I believe that things will come back. Um, so I think you might be able to leverage that to grow the collection and and 
like you said, in a bull market, I would have been on this early mint if possible um, and flipped it. But I think that a lot of people would hold it. Um, so that just the red flag of the revenue sharing scares me a little bit. So I would give it a 4.2069. Um, if you cut that out, I would raise it. But that, you know, that scares me because if I were holding it and the SEC were to come down on you and just wipe out the project, then, you know, I'm, I'm holding a bag uh, for a long, from a long-term perspective. So, um, yeah, but I am really impressed with what you've been able to build up here and put this all together, the merch, the art, it's all good. I like it. Cool. Sounds good. All right. Nice, man. Well, yeah, thank you for coming on. We appreciate it. Um, well, I did you. follow you. Um, so I'll be keeping an eye on Lala and see what's what's going on in the future and uh, interested to see what else you guys come up with because this is a, I mean, it's a good start. It's uh, it's Wolf of Wall Street, man. So good stuff. Well, well thank you guys. Thanks for, for having me on here. Yeah, yeah thanks, man. Keep, a, keep an eye out. There's more to them. Awesome. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. All right, quick intermission. Um, Sarah says 2160 is fire, fire, fire. Um, so, facts, by the way, yeah, that's what um, we have a lot of like women come into these streams and they say that he probably doesn't even know her at all. Um, and they just come in and they're like, look at that guy. Um, uh, it, it couldn't be my wife. No, all. definitely not your wife. <laughs> Um, but anyway, we, we just like to pause when she makes a, a nice, uh, a nice little shout out like that. But Josh, welcome, man. Hey, how you guys doing? Good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing all right. I'm, uh, got the office uh, in a little different spot here as my basement flooded about a month ago and still dealing oh, no. with the aftermath there. So, uh, so sorry Painful. for the bright lights behind me of the windows there. No, you're good, man. And sorry to hear about your basement flooding. That's like, that's one of the worst things. It's just a mess. Uh, yeah, it's been a gut punch the, the whole way through. So it's it's been fun. Learned a lot yeah. down there. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be in uh, in construction before you know it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's painful. Um, but anyway, yeah, good to have you on the show. Um, so I sure. guess to kick it off, like, uh, tell us about your background and how you got into Web3. Yeah, uh, I came from a product manager background. I worked in logistics for 10 years. Um, uh, did did quite well in logistics, but you know, as soon as I had found, uh, it got in contact with David, who's one of our two founders, um, who uh, was part of the initial idea behind the Swoops, uh, and got to chatting with him and learning of a, a basketball career out there. Um, I certainly came on board awfully quick. I, I was really interested in Web3 to begin with. I had started off in another basketball kind of related project, not as a member of the team in any way, just doing a lot of freelance stuff. And we actually sprung up a league that we were running through Basketball GM uh, that did pretty well. And that's kind of how I got into chatting with David to begin with, since uh, that's what we were looking to do over on the swoop side of things, just in a more official kind of cleaner way. So who are your teams for college and NBA? All right. So I'm a Michigan guy. Uh, no. All so. right. You're out of here. <laughs> oh, You're no. out. Who am no. I speaking with? Are you an Ohio Stater? No. I, oh, I'm a Spartan, okay. man. Oh, even. Wow. Even closer to home. You're kidding. I'm just going to oh, tell you right funny. now. We're going to whoop Michigan's ass this year i would be shocked oh in <laughs> basketball okay 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 not football no okay, Fo football okay. let's not talk about football <laughs> yeah football has not been the 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 shiniest days for msu as of late but uh yep so lions uh for for football obviously for but basketball i'm a pistons guy of course i love all my hometown teams pistons you know for the first time in a few years feels like they got a little i'm, I'm excited i make I'm, I'm really excited for the games so we'll see how it yeah. goes I'm going to the Lions Bears game um, in Ooh. November. Hey, I, hopefully they'll they'll stop them. They've been uh, Bears have been looking pretty uh, pretty bad out there. Yeah, Lions are looking good, man. Um, yeah, definitely enjoying it. So, are you from the D or? Uh, uh, yep, yep. I live in the Detroit area. Yeah. Nice. Are, I'm are over you in Michigan? Holland. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I uh, I certainly know that area. I'll be uh, 
heading out kind of toward that that way here in a little bit on a little vacation there uh, in a couple of months so um but man yeah it's a small world out here i always i always find out yeah but, for sure we, we got to do a michigan web3 meetup at some point or even oh, like yeah. chicago you know something like that oh yeah um, yep, it, there's plenty of us uh but uh if you if you if you'd like, I can give you guys a little rundown of kind of what Swoops is and, and what we're doing over there. Um, Definitely. Uh, so Swoops is a simulation strategy basketball game. So think kind of like Zed Run um, for those familiar with Zed Run, um, where it's it's horse racing. This is a uh, basketball. So you're going to comprise lineups using your players, and you're going to enter those players into real head-to-head -head contests and tournaments against other teams. Games run around the clock, so if you want to play, you can go find yourself a lobby or join the matchmaking queue um, at any time. Since the launch of our project here and it went, since our game started in January of this year, we've had over 400,000 games played. Um, you can build your team through, we have uh, each season, there's a new uh, draft class that comes into play. Um, they, you know, they kind of go up and down depending on what the what the demand is uh and and you know with those players bring some new players into the ecosystem at a certain point players can age out of the ecosystem at which time you can attach them to uh existing players in your locker room to give them a little boost but for anyone who's familiar with like a 2k model where you have this team and each season your players progress and regress um ours is much the same so you get your players and each year you'll have a season and then when that season ends you'll get to have what is our our player reveal day and our player evolution days which are always electric where you get to learn more about your players and they actually go up and down you can kind of see oh this guy i wasn't really using much last year but now i think he might have found a slot in our starting lineup um, as you can see on the screen here this would be kind of like one of our player pages uh where each of our player has uh, 15 underlying attributes and those each season another one gets revealed and then also these are the attributes that you would see going up and down at the end of each season as well our nice. players uh our players play in games like i said head-to-head -head contests we have daily tournaments um each season i mean this season alone we have two majors an all-star game a rookie fest our end season mega tournament called the Swooper Bowl. And uh, this season alone, I think we're giving out over 30,000 in prizes. So um, ton in, in prize money that gets sent right to their wallets. So uh, it's been a blast. Wow, man. Um, this is pretty cool. Um, I'll let uh, 21 ask any questions first. Okay, first, it's just basketball? Yes, we are just basketball. Well, right, you know, it. we haven't <laughs> we haven't closed the door on other future, you know, expansions. Uh, but for okay. the current moment, we are our focus is basketball. That is correct. I'll put my disdain for the sport of basketball aside. <laughs> Secondly, you. when you create like a, a game, um, is there any like wagering against that game or it's just to like help elevate your player stats or your team stats? So currently, when you're entering a game, there is they're they're all free to play right now. Um, we uh, we will in the future, kind of as Zed does, where you can. I want to get in a race that costs this much money, and we'll offer those different tiers of levels that people can get in. Um, we currently are supporting all the prizes. We don't do any prizes on our head-to-head -head contest currently, but um, if you go to a locker room, like if you were to right now, which you actually would be able to if you wanted, uh, you, we do have free-to-play available, which is something we just launched, um, and it was something that we kind of launched, you know, for any that wish to claim their free player, and anybody that's listening, you can visit playswoops.com to do so. Um, we have have social sign in or you can sign in using a wallet uh, that will give you a free player and you'll actually be able to turn that player into an actual on-chain player but um, this is kind of like an outreach program to the non-web threeers uh, in a way to kind of covertly get them into our world without them even really realizing that they're they're playing a web3 game as they're gaining this player and then you know now they have a player that they can enter in one swoops your tournaments one sw swoops your games or if they are feeling ballsy they can enter them into the five swoops or ones um, and, and, you know, start to participate in our community and then, you know, start to explore beyond that and see, hey, well, this is actually pretty fun. I'd love to pick up another player or two and maybe I'd start being competitive in a three swoopster. And yeah, I think uh, I think this is very timely. One, I love the outreach, um, the sneaky outreach, because even though this is a Web3 show, I, I think me and Burn tell everybody, you know, 
make it make mass adoption your kind of end game, but do it in a way that people don't realize that you're using the the technology behind it. Um, I think it's great positioning. I actually like the Zed Run model. I think in a bull, it could absolutely kind of um, you know come in here and change your guys's business. So when you guys yeah. operate um, or you or start introducing that model. Um, I think that'll be great for you guys, but I think this is really, really cool for those people that, you know, um, love basketball. It's kind of very like fantasy basketball esque. Um, but you know, being able sure. to build out your own team, there's a lot of people that love, you know, stats like that. And, um, and obviously the games that are associated, the major games that are associated with that on like Xbox and PlayStation. So, um it looks really really yeah. well as built you can out see here well. this is our this is our kind of our lobby page these are all games that are happening you can take a look at the timestamp to see you know 234 234 very 234. busy um a lot of different teams in there always kind of playing and tweaking their lineups and getting ready we had we just had a big event wrap, wrap up which was the soa cup which is our swoops owners association cup uh which took the top 32 teams by win percentage and put them in a big massive tournament against one another uh where it was best of three best of three best of three best of five best of seven and they competed for a grand prize um from here if you were to go up to the top you could click over to the tournaments tab and there should be some open tournaments right now um that you can jump into with your players you would uh it looks like maybe you're signing um oh you probably have to verify your email before it would uh let you join one um but here you'd be able to join in tournament for today we have different size tournaments uh for those who maybe don't want to play in one that's for with five swoopsters because if you don't have five you got to make up your lineup with some free agents uh they may be free to use but they're not the best players um, so, so, you know, you might want to stick to some of the smaller ones. Uh, if you head to your locker room it, within there, you'd be able to name your team. Um, you could, uh, add a team logo. If you choose, there's all of the ongoing challenges here that you'll see in front of you where it's play five games, win 25 games. And this is how, um, you actually earn SP, which will move you up the, the leaderboard. which will get you into some more big tournaments and things of the sort. So you've submitted that. I can go on my end right now and actually approve you if you'd like. Dude, this is uh, super smooth. Like, like really smooth. I mean, it's cheers it's to been, having this tech. Hey, dude. Well, thank you. It's been a, you know, obviously as as all do, there have been some bumps along the way and and some things we needed to iron out and and this and that. But you know, it it is a lot of fun, and our community rewards us like each and every day with how excited they are to play and 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 do the different things that we put out there as challenges and, and everything else. So, uh, it's been a blast. It really has. How many how many active members do you have? uh our our this so between our two games we have this game and we have our nba mini game uh it's somewhere around like 600 or so between the two the nba good. mini game if you click gm there and press play um so each day there's a new lineup it will have a theme to the lineup today's theme is superior nba three-point bombers and then kind of like those existing models if you've ever seen one of those posts where it's like you have 15 dollars to create a a lineup to take on this team this is that model but we're taking it that step further which is not only are you building your lineup we're running that lineup through our proprietary simulator which was built by everybody on our team had either experience directly working for an nba team or the actual nba uh, and for our data science team, and it will run your team through there. And then at the end of the day, come results time, you'll receive your result, you receive a grade, and you'll get to see where you stack up against the other GMs that day. So it's a lot of fun. Dude, that's so cool. I'm just picking the top. Oh, I can't because you only have 20. Ah. I got $22. You're two bucks over already. Oh, man. Everybody wants those top dogs. <laughs> you just easily click them and call it good, right? So no, man, there's a little strategy to this too, where it's, you know, if you're thinking that you got a really good lineup and you can come in under budget, you'll get a little boost to your GM grade that day if you happen to win. Um, so, you know, you can try to play with that a little bit and there are many that try to do it. And, you know, it's tougher to win if you're not using your full budget, but uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Wow, man. Um, yeah, this is great. Uh, so it looks like it's built on uh, Taurus, right? Uh, the Taurus wallet is just something we use. This is on ETH. 
Oh, okay, I was like, I never heard of Taurus. Okay. Yeah, Taurus Wallet was just something. We needed to find that bridge to be able to allow the social sign-in aspect of using like a Google login to help bring in, because, you know, as, as, as I'm sure you've seen, if you've been involved in projects, when you're trying to reach out to somebody who isn't familiar with Web3, boy, there are some leaps and some hurdles to get them to even just get into the door. Um, so this was an effort to be able to use that Taurus wallet. It kind of acts as that that bridge between a social sign-in and Google and, you know, getting into our, our ecosystem. So can I ask, is this just like simulations that happen in the background? Is there any kind of actual imagery when like the, the games are being played themselves? Sure. If you want to go to a, uh, if you're still on the site and want to go to a game, we could we could click on a game. There's no currently. There's no where you'll see a court and you'll see little balls moving. Though that is something that you know in a lo-fi version, something that we that would look to do kind of first if we did a visual before moving on to something a little more expansive. Um, but what what it does do is you can arrive to a game page. It will show the two teams and it will show the one scroll for the play-by-play -play and one scroll for the box score. And you can click watch and you can toggle with the speed or you can toggle by the by the quarter you're in, however you choose, or you can just, for a lot of people who are like, I can't take waiting through this, they just click reveal and they just wanna see that result. But you can sit through and you can watch your game and watch that box score be populated live. So um, for our SOA Cup yesterday, myself and one of our other team members, Trent, um, we call all the action live on Twitch with the community and, and kind of get in there and, and it's a lot of fun. We do bracket contests around it. And some of our community members have put on some kind of like daily fantasy style contests surrounding some of our bigger tournaments. It's been cool. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I was just, I, why you were talking was thinking about Zed Run and, um, you know, the actual like imagery of, of a race happening, which I think, you know, adds yeah, a lot it's to the user experience and it's very powerful. So the more that you can boost that kind of imagery, you're right. There's always going to be the people that are like, just reveal what happened. Right. Yeah. Um, but there are some people that like want to actually have a, a user experience more than just like a game is happening in the background and, and they find out a score. So um, I'm glad to hear that you guys have that kind of on your iteration map uh, moving forward. Oh, take a look there in your locker room. Your team name has been approved. Oh, for fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can't swear on this show, Burn. It's a family show. <sighs> you're on mute, man. So I'm just busting your balls and you're saying nothing. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying, uh, shut your mouth. Um, <laughs> how do I play a game? Uh, so scroll down for me real quick. Okay, so it looks like uh, you might have to verify your email first before your player will show in your locker room. Looks like there might it might not have come through. But typically, uh, as soon as that's done, you'll have a player in your locker room, and then you can just head on over to, uh, on the top bar, there's the head-to-head -head tab uh, for the court, and you can head there, and you can just jump into the matchmaker queue. And, and, you know, depending on how many people are playing at any given time, you know, I would say results usually show within two, three minutes. Uh, you'll get a notification in the little bubble up there in the top right corner um, to the left of that jersey. There's a little notification bell. Uh, right to the, yep, right there. You'll get a notification when your game is finished and you can click in and view the result. Nice. Um, is it possible to be like, so can the player set a buy in? I can be like, hey, I want a $50 game if anyone wants to do it. Not currently, but that is something that, that we discuss for, uh, you know, for one, just having the different levels of, you know, here's a, some always where there will always be some $20 games, always some $10 games, always some five. And then, like you mentioned, a possible scenario where it's like, hey, I'm putting up this and this is what I want my buy-in to be. Who wants to click this button and play against me? Yeah, uh, winner take all. Right. And I'm sure yeah. that that will reach the appetite of uh, quite a few in our community as well that have built some awesome teams and are, are very rightfully confident in their in their abilities. Yeah, I mean, I like to gamble for sure. Um, so that would be appealing to me. But I'd imagine you have to run that by uh, legal for sure, right? With gambling laws and restrictions and things like sure. that. Sure, yep. When, those, when that part comes in, you know, everything's got to be 
a hundred percent with you know tied up and and all the information behind it's got to be there to to know that you're doing it the right way otherwise like you were saying earlier you can find yourself in some uh some trouble yeah that's organization killers right <laughs> right yeah don't let don't let the degen sides of us get you in trouble actually <laughs> go, go do it the right way like you might need to offshore your company somewhere uh to be able to offer some kind of gambling in that way um but you know dgens love to gamble so it's definitely an avenue you guys could go down if that's uh if that's the direction sure. you wanted to take um but this looks like incredible the build out looks great well thank you very much the we got an awesome engineering team and i mean every part of our our team is is great our marketing team our data science team as i was mentioning all have mba experience and it's just you know being able to work not only with some very smart people but some people that are smart also in the basketball sense on top of being smart in the other areas that you need them to be is uh it's it's been a dream yeah so one of the things i was just thinking um you know instead of simulating an entire game like if you just simulated like highlight reels like everybody wants to see right. like somebody dunk on somebody right so like if you just from each game there was like a highlight reel on each side i think chimpers does this really well like you can see the full battle but then like it just give you like four highlights at the end yeah that you that's can awesome. share on like social media if you did that and gave people the capability to share those clips on social media that's a great way to get people to come in, into your into your ecosystem um, especially if they're badass like you know uh, a clip so maybe something to think about because i know like if you try to simulate a whole game like that's a that's a lot of dev effort right like that's a that seems to be a bigger monster yeah then i would like, i would think let's so. just let's just give them some clips of like people we like even had a community other. member just the other day i can't think of the game that he was he was referencing but he said there was a basketball game that back in the day if there was a close shot at the buzzer um or, or a buzzer beater that basically mattered in some sense could affect the game they would show that just like that shot yeah where it'd be like here's the simulation and then it would go into just that shot and be like right that's exactly what i'm talking about missing? and you know something as simple as as that could just like and and you know that's a that's a big part of it and that's one thing when looking at our current page and and you know i love that you guys you know uh, see kind of the beauty that we see in it as well at, at certain parts but there's so much about it where it's like boy that we need to get some more action going here some more color some more you know a little of this so a lot of improvements to come uh, along the way on that stuff and and yeah the the visual part of it would would be oh man that would that would really be amazing to see yeah man i like it despite you being a michigan fan um, <laughs> good job man we'll overlook that i think hey i appreciate it same goes same goes over here <laughs> um yeah. cool man so 21 you want me to rate first yeah because you're pos i know man i'm a point of sale system for sure <laughs> hey josh um, just as a side note before he goes into his long spiel sure. it doesn't really matter to anybody <laughs> except for him um Wait, the I funny mean... thing is is we both work in logistics so when you said that you came from logistics, oh no kidding well, yeah, yeah he works uh... in sales and i work in security so it's it's just funny okay that we yep. have oh, that, yeah. kind of that background uh in common all right go ahead burn yeah, I was originally at uh, Big Brown, and then oh, uh, yeah. I'm at a, another forwarder right now. Um, but yeah, man, logistics, it's fun. Um, it can be, or it can't be. And <laughs> it's, that, the problem with that one, man, the thing I, I don't miss is the, it doesn't matter what time of the day or what day of the week, something can go wrong. And oh, yeah, dude, I'm doing like 11 o'clock on a Sunday night. Like, oh, yeah. Take care of it. That, something my, gets fa there my favorite time. is like 4 a.m to talk to europe like oh places. yeah sure um especially being on the west coast it doesn't help me but oh, i always sure. say like i i was deployed to iraq and afghanistan and i try like when people are freaking out i'm like you are moving boxes for a living you're <laughs> like, like we all need to like recenter and like actually it's take the, a look at like it's the amazing this, thing about logistics everybody wants everything and they wanted it yesterday yeah were you in automotive by chance yeah tier like supplying some big tier automotive so 
Oh yeah, you, I probably know up, where you used to work. Yeah, I probably if you know. mess up, man, it is like they're talking. If you shut down a line, a hundred k every ten minutes, or you know whatever it is, and and boy, oh, yeah. they love to throw that those numbers out there too. If something's running behind, so boy, yeah. I don't miss those calls. But yeah, it was a uh, that was a uh, certainly kept you on your toes. Yeah, man, I do a ton of automotive, and I mean that's the people I work with. Um, mm-hmm. So I definitely get that. I probably know where it used to work, but we don't need to talk about that here. Um, but I probably know them. I probably know people there. Um, At least yeah, one man, of the places I used to work, I'm sure you've heard of, is they are giant. Yeah, they're probably my client. <laughs> possibly, um, very possibly. Yeah. So, um, yeah, man. Um, swoops is uh, super cool. I like, I like the whole system. I mean, the seamless, like create an account. You don't have to do all the, uh, all the web three stuff that um, 99% of our population hates or just doesn't want to take the time to do it. And I think that's where the future is going. It's all about like using L twos and, and uh, creative ways to create a wallet without them knowing it. They've got it. They're leveraging the technology, which is amazing, but they're not, um, they don't have to deal with all the things that we deal with as basically pioneers in the space uh, before the technology is ready. Right. Um, so that's good. I like the gamification. I like, I like the fact that, uh, you know, you've got games going nonstop. You've got a very active community. It seems um, oh, certainly. And they're, they're using it. Um, so I think that that can be really beneficial and spread. Um, like you could have told me clean. when, when everything started, you could have told me at this point right now we had 100,000 games played, and I would have been like, wow, that's incredible. But we've had 400,000 at to this point, you know, since launching in January of this year. So, like, we definitely, and that's what's so encouraging to us about wanting to add those visual things down the road is we see how sticky it can be for those that have bought into what we've done so far. Like, imagine if we can get those next steps in place. Um, uh, sorry to interrupt. I apologize. No, you're good, man. Um, yeah, I agree. I mean, there's there's a ton you can do with this. I think it's got massive potential. Um, I think it can be really big. Uh, yeah, it's clean. All the tech is super clean. Moving around your site, navigating. Um, it's all quick and snappy, which is important. Um, yeah, I like it. And I didn't it, mention, but we're we're also built for mobile as well. Um, which is something that I think when we started, we weren't as aware, like, Has to that be. is going to be the way that people play this. And yeah. boy, our community let us know quick. So, you know, mobiles, mobile, all these pages that you're seeing are mobile supported. Um, and, and that is truly, and, and it's, a, it's an interesting thing that we've also learned about our game is a lot of people play it. It, it almost in passing where it's like, hey, I got a couple minutes. Let me throw in a few lineups. Uh, you know, I'll check in on my results the next time I, I come here when I'm sitting in traffic or when I'm, you know, sitting at lunch and, you know, have making a making a poo poo. Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, that's a big one for phones. Everybody knows it. So yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's 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 been really cool. Uh, let's see. Okay, Ben's in comments saying a bunch of random stuff. Burn. That's not the tech. Whatever, Ben. Um, but anyway. Yeah, man. Um, I'm going to give you, I was going to give you an 8.4, but because you're a Michigan fan, I'm going to give you an 8.39999999999. So I'm just deducting a little bit. That's the Michigan fan penalty. Um, but it's a small deduction. Um, the Lions fanness and Pistons yep. fixes all of that. So Perfect. Um, yeah, you're good, man. Great project. I like it. I think uh, massive potential here. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll give you an 8.42 just because <laughs> Ben is a jerk. Uh, <laughs> and Burn is a jerk. And um, I'm glad no, that you said pissed ben. him off. I did. <laughs> ben is I, a met, jerk. I, I met you. Ben, um, you hear that? <laughs> ben isn't a jerk. I like Ben's comments. They're, they're making me laugh. Um, Burn's a jerk. So I'll give you 8.420. Um, I think everything that Burn said was correct, though. Like, it's great that your website looks flawless. The fact that you're working on mobile is also great. Um, there's many avenues that you can go down, and the the interaction that you have are getting from your community that you've built. I mean, 
the amount of games that are played is just incredible. And I think that that speaks to what you guys have built and kind of your vision for the future. Um, I think that, you know, this using Web3 technology and getting mass adoption behind with the technology being behind the scenes is so, so important. Um, and it just watching burn like sign up for an account like super quickly, um, all of those things, it looks like it works flawlessly. So um, yeah, big kudos to you. It looks really, really cool. You get those visuals in, and if you guys ever decided to go down the gambling route, I think you know the sky's the limit in a bull market for sure. Awesome. Well, hey, I appreciate you guys uh, allowing us to come on here and, and kind of chat, and and you know, thank you so much for all your your words there. And yeah, we're we're super excited of everything we got going on. We got All Star Games coming up, which is always a tough one. We got to somehow pick forty All Stars, and then we put them off in a, a four team tournament where they play against each other down, or excuse me, an eight team tournament that plays down to a champion. Um, you know, we got a couple, another major approaching our, our swooper bulls coming up. There's, there's a lot of fun on the horizon. So anybody's interested, give us a shot, you know, check us out. It's playswoops.com. You can sign up for an account, get your free player and start jumping in some lobbies. Let me just, uh, let me just do this. Playswoops.com. That's playswoops.com. Sign up now. Um, you got you got to say it four times. That's the that's the rule. <laughs> I know, yeah, you got to like burn it in their memory. Uh, yeah, may yeah. cause diarrhea and itching. <laughs> um, not really. I won't do that. Uh, ben Lab top five rug roasted projects. I don't even know, dude. Um, but yeah, thank you for the show. Um, Twenty one is very jovial. He enjoyed the fanfare, I am a the jovial, jovial mf'er. I don't care that it was popularized in the 16th century. It's a good fucking word. I yeah. am mid curve and jovial. Check my Twitter profile. Yeah, Josh. So he likes to. 21 uses all these words from like 800 years ago. He's like jovial, <laughs> um, fanfare. He's like, what's with all the fanfare? I'm like, dude. What, what are you even saying? <laughs> um, and, and I like it. I mean, it, it's fun. It's really fun to give them shit about it as well. Uh, I don't know if you guys were Game of Thrones watchers back when it was on, but I know uh, my my girlfriend wasn't at the time, so she went through it later on. And boy, I had a good time going through the house of seven hells when something would go wrong or <laughs> anything like that, or telling her I would send a raven. Josh, don't ruin it for me. I still think Jon Snow's like laying in a pile of mud with all kinds of stab wounds. That's as far mm -hmm. as I've gotten that show. So that's where it's at. You that's haven't finished it? That's how it ended, I no, think. No, yeah. look, Burn, I have shit to do in my real life. I know that you don't because you're slacking on building Nighttime, dude. What do you do in bed? You don't You don't get the iPad out and no. watch stuff? No. Sorry. Sorry to ruin your... You're your... so weird, dude. You're probably <laughs> reading books or something. Um, nerd. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But the, I'm looking the second up words like jovial and fanfare. That's true. You're using cool ancient medieval words. Um, yeah. Pretty jovial. But yeah, I think we're just rambling at this point. So yeah, I'll play sure. us out. Josh, thanks for coming. Love Swoops. Hey, thanks, Love guys. the project. That's uh, playswoops.com, 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 playswoops.com. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys. Thanks, man. That was awesome. I can't, I can't hear you over the music. Yes, you can. You know exactly what I'm saying. Here's what it sounded like. Hey, Brian, after every show. <laughs> Like what? <laughs> what are you saying? I, I didn't hear you. It's like the guy's theme you got there. It's awesome. <laughs>